Let's begin by introducing the supplied hardware and the recommended tools. First off, we have four M8 by 20 millimeter long countersunk Allen bolts plus washers plus nylock nuts. And then we have two large spacers as well as two M8 by 40 millimeter long hex head bolts plus large washers and two spacers each as well as two M6 by 40 millimeter long hex head bolts plus washers plus those two spacers. We will be using a ratchet and various extensions as well as a 13 millimeter wrench or spanner and then eight millimeter and 10 millimeter hex sockets as well as a five millimeter Allen socket or you can use an Allen key. You can flip the rear rack upside down on the table, push the bolt through from underneath, like so, and then place it back on a table, and then a washer, and spin on the nylock nut, and you can do this with all four. You can put on the washer, and then spin on the nylock nut, and leave it loose. No need to tighten it. Place it on the bike gently, Line up the mounting holes on the side, put in the spacer. This is the large spacer and the M8 diameter bolt. Make sure to apply some blue Loctite, medium strength. The back side, M6 bolt and the small spacer. Line up the mounting holes, push it through. And don't forget to apply some blue Loctite and repeat the same steps on the other side of the motorcycle. And now you can begin to tighten all the bolts and nuts. You can go at it gradually. The torque spec for the M6 bolts is 10 newton meters. For the M8 bolts is 23 newton meters. Please note that if you are installing the pannier racks as well, you will have to remove the bolts before completing the installation. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Info at outbackmotorcycle.com or call toll free 877-931-3636. Thank you for watching.